hey, um, this is actually a response video and that's not something I often do. But this is a video I really want to make. Um, it's a response to a video called How Asian View Yellow Fever. I'll put a link um, either below this or in the, in the information box in the video itself. Um, it's a video I came across a while back and uh, I know I've already made a video related to the subject about white men and Asian women, that subject. Um, and I spoke uh, about that and I got quite a lot of support for what I was saying in that. But I want to respond specifically to responses that I got in this video. Um, that is the comment section below the video. Um, not so much the video itself because I think the double chins are going about it in quite a responsible and open-minded way. Um, basically, these two guys are kind of presenters, um, Chinese guys who, they're very uh, very witty, very funny, very amicable. And um, they open the video by saying that they're talking about a link to a girl who was talking about the subject in a very negative way. And they basically said they understand where, they, where she's coming from. She's talking about all white men with yellow fever or this and that. Um, but they also said that they have white male friends and it's not fair to generalize. And that's more or less the, the theme I want to get to in this video. Because I made a response under that and it was massively taken out of proportion. Um, got quite a lot of responses. Uh, to be fair, 22 people liked what I said. But quite a few were also critical. Um, usually, I don't let that sort of stuff bother me. But this, I do take this quite personally because I've been in this situation, and um, yeah. So, firstly, it's a response to those people who misunderstood what I was saying, and secondly, um, it's a response to just some of the wider themes. What I'm going to do actually is exactly what I said and in order to do that I need to open up another link so just bear with me a second but whilst I'm waiting for that um, I want to talk about the wider issue so the notion here is that this concept of yellow fever um, from white men uh, and it usually goes along these lines the white guy sees Asian women as weak submissive, um, almost geisha-like, that's sort of the notion of um, where, excuse me, where yellow fever comes from, that it's kind of this idea of white guys who, I mean, even this term yellow fever is no doubt politically incorrect, um, I didn't invent it by the way, and um, I think it may have been even an Asian that invented it, I don't know where the origins of that are, but basically, um, the notion comes from this idea that white men who have yellow fever focus on Asian women because they think they're submissive and weak and so on. Um, this could be quite a philosophical video, so bear with me. But I do think it's important to spread education on this subject because it is, in my view, hugely taken out of proportion. So first of all, I'm just going to say what I actually wrote to provoke such a strong reaction. I have 50 replies, incidentally. Some of those are mine defending myself but here we go this is exactly what i said as a white guy who likes asian women i am sick of being portrayed as creepy desperate or wanting to control women i have a wide range of male and female friends from all backgrounds so i'm hardly a sociopath i'm no more desperate than some people in same sex in same race relations i appreciate femininity what is that is not the same as wanting to control women i believe in yang yang what's wrong with that the sort of critique mixed race couples face i.e. controlling male submissive female, can be seen in same race couples too. If you have a problem with mixed relations, you're the one who's being controlling. Fuck off and mind your own business. I'm not talking about the guys in the video, I usually like their videos. So, as you can tell, I was a bit irritated when I made that comment. I was going to remove the comment, not because I don't have conviction. I stand 100% by what I was saying there, but simply because I was fed up of getting negative replies. I just didn't want the hassle of having to always see that come up in my, you know, the reminder box when you get a new message. Um, 
so this is the deal, right? Uh, people had massively taken it out of proportion. And I think it comes down to one line where I said, um, I appreciate femininity, what's wrong? That's not the same as wanting to control women. So they, they assumed that I meant all Asian women are feminine and other women are not. Well, of course, that's absolutely not what I was saying. Um, firstly, when we talk about Asians in this context, uh, it's mostly referring to East Asians, Chinese, Japanese, and Koreans. Um, but Asia is a continent. Um, and obviously, with a continent, the world's most populous, I might remind people, you have millions and millions and millions of people. In fact, it's approximately, in China alone, approximately 500 million women. So the idea that um, I would view all of them as feminine is clearly ridiculous. Um, you'd have to be a pretty stupid guy to really believe that every single Asian woman is uh, is that that way inclined, because obviously they're not. I've come across Asian women who I don't like, who I find to be quite unpleasant, have quite unpleasant personalities, um, and I didn't have much time for them. I've come across white women, black women, uh, and to a lesser extent, Latino women, who I find very attractive in their own way. Um, the bottom line is I'm a heterosexual male and I'm attracted to all women. But I think that most people, if they're being honest, uh, find that there is a certain type of person that they tend to go for more than others. So I really, really don't think there's anything wrong with uh, happening to, like, um, for example, Asian women. Or if you happen to like, like black guys or if you happen to like white women or whatever it is. Um, it all comes down to... The diversity of human attraction and i really really don't think there's anything wrong with that there is a problem if you actively discriminate against others and if you are hostile or rude to other people say for example i liked asian women and i was openly rude to white black and latino women yeah that would be a problem because it would be closed-minded on my part but that's not the situation and I do resent that my statement was so taken out of context. Anyone with a brain can clearly see what I was trying to say there. Um, I have noticed a femininity in a lot of Asian women. That doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that I believe all Asian women are like that. And of course, I could find femininity in white women and black women as well. It's just that I've noticed it. Uh, it's quite common among Asian women. Quite common. I'm not saying it's very... And th that's another thing I want to touch on. There's an assumption that if a guy appreciates femininity, then he thinks that's the same as being submissive. It's not. Um, femininity, to me, is simply a balance of yin-yang. If you are quite uh, traditional, is the wrong word, because it makes you sound all um, old-fashioned, like a 1950s man, something like that. So it's the wrong word. It's not the word I want to use. But let's just say um, I'm the sort of man who likes to, for example, protect my woman, to walk her home at night, that sort of thing. I'm traditional in that sense. Um, femininity to me is not weakness at all. In fact, to me, it's female strength. Um, I do think a lot of the sponsors there, bearing in mind that a lot of them would be from the United States, and I think a lot of the, the hostile responses come from Asian American women, who are probably a lot more influenced by the American part of their identity um, rather than the Asian part of their identity. What I mean by that is, well, put in one word, feminism. Um, that is to say, Western feminism teaches women that if a man compliments you, if a man appreciates femininity, then he's, uh, he's a misogynist pig who wants to hold women back. And that's pretty much... Um, I'm not saying everyone who was negative about my response thinks that way, but I, I have a strong inclination that's the sort of line of thinking that they have. In fact, I had a long back and forth with one girl who was very rude to myself. Um, and I gave up in the end because, I, you know, I thought she was very immature in the way she was going about it. Um, but... You know, I, I think that there is more hostility to white men and Asian women than any other example of interracial dating. Um, I know within, for example, black men and white women, there's some black women have a problem with that. Um, and certainly up to the 50s or the 60s, even in America, there would have been 
deep hostility to mixed relations. In many Asian countries, I think it's fair to say that older generations are still a bit more wary of it. Um, but I think most people are open-minded enough to not really care. Nevertheless, I do think that there is a casual bigotry towards this that seems to be accepted in a way that I often use this analogy. Um, if it is unacceptable to throw out negative stereotypes about homosexual people because that's homophobic, then it should be equally unacceptable to throw out negative stereotypes about mixed couples. Um, because, again, you can't help who you're attracted to, and it's something that's beyond your control. So if it's, if it's wrong to stereotype homosexual people um, or any other group of people, then this should be equally wrong. Now, just as a disclaimer, I'm not saying that some of these stereotypes have no truth. So, of course, you'll find guys that are in those relationships for the wrong reasons. Maybe they are controlling sort of men. But you know what? I've got a good friend. She's in a relationship. Her boyfriend happens to be Asian. He happens to be from another Asian country. They're not from the same country, but they're both Asian. He's controlling. And um, she's really regretted getting into that relationship. So that, to me, proves that this idea that it's only white men who are like that is beyond crap. Um... I guess the stereotype with a lot of Asian women would be that they're submissive. Again, that's not true. Uh, I've known some Asian women who are very outspoken and very, um, they're strong business women and so on. So that, that idea is whatever way people perceive that, again, it's misleading. If, there, if you are a white guy who has these views, then don't be naive because it isn't the case. But the fact of the matter is, my main video is not to slander other white men, it's to confront people who have a problem with this um, and most people don't but those who do are very vocal and unfortunately there is a lot of videos like this online now the double chains I think had good intentions with their video but unfortunately it has brought out a lot of racists and I stand by using that word because I do believe that their hostility is motivated by racism towards white men um, and it's, it pisses me off. It really pisses me off. When I say it's racism towards white men, um, I would also include misandry in that. I think there's some white women, and some Asian women for that matter, who have a very negative view of men who are in this situation because basically they have the wrong idea about it. My response to them would be, if you've personally had a bad experience, you have my sympathy. But don't tar all men with the same brush. Not every man who is with an Asian girl or an Asian woman is in that relationship for cynical reasons. And, um, you know, if you've had that experience again, you have my sympathy. But why is it that people don't focus on exactly the same problems in same race relations? That's what I don't understand. You can find plenty of examples of abusive relations amongst white, white couples, Asian, Asian couples. So why is all the focus on Asian white couples? That really pisses me off. And I hope there'll come a time in the future where bigotry and the hostility towards this is viewed in exactly the same way as any other sort of prejudice. Um, I mean, this sort of started off kind of as a bit of a joke and lighthearted, but I do think there's genuine animosity out there. And as someone who has been in mixed relations, relations I deeply valued, and by the way, I'm still close friends with my ex-girlfriends, I'm pleased to say. We're very good relations. Um, I take that personally. Maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should rise above it. But I do take it personally because I think it's um, unacceptable. Um, there's not much more I can add to this, but basically, I would conclude with this. The stereotypes, I'm not saying that they're not true. You will find examples of men who are controlling and they, they think that their girlfriend is like a patient or like that sort of situation. Um, and you will get women who are just gold diggers and maybe do have a bad attitude to their two Asian men. Um, a quick word about that, by the way. Some Asian men are very resentful about this and I've had, had a few comment in my last video saying like, um, do not think it's wrong that Asian women hate their own men and stuff like this. Well, 
if Asian women have been rude to you, um, if you've done nothing wrong, you have my sympathy. But it could also be that you're too controlling. I mean, why should they be with an Asian man? Just because they're Asian. It's like, that would be like me saying white women should only stay with white guys. We should hold on to our women. I think it's a very narrow way of thinking. Um, you know, Asian women don't belong to you. They don't belong to any man. Um, so I think it's a very narrow way of thinking. Um, if if it is genuinely the case that some Asian women denigrate Asian men, well, I can understand frustration, but most Asian women don't. Um, most Asian people are in relationships with other Asian people. So this phenomenon is not as widespread as people think. Yes, it's pretty common. And I think, for example, in Australia and California, it's quite, it's quite prominent. And in America, as I understand it, it's the most common example of mixed relations. But to me, that's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. It's not something to be denigrated and denounced and ridiculed. Um, I know myself, and I know in relationships, I've always treated women with respect and um, with uh, completely... It just It hurts me, to be quite frank, because... It's just so different from my own experience. Um, it hurts me and it pisses me off. So if you do have negative attitudes to this, it may be because you've had a bad experience. Um, if you're a woman, you have my sympathy. But please don't assume that all men are like that. Because having a bad experience isn't an excuse to have hostile attitudes to everyone else of the same group. Um, and if you're a guy and you feel that Asian women are denigrating you again, um, if someone's being rude to you, okay, that's her problem. But don't assume all Asian women are like that because they're not. Um, you know, when I've been in relationships, I find that um, there's never been an issue with Asian guys, I'm pleased to say. I've got Asian male friends and they, they've never, they've always been mature. They've never been bothered by it. I don't I don't care by the way, I'm not being politically correct about this. I don't care about light hearted humor and that sort of thing. But what I'm saying is there is genuine animosity out there. And I'm sick of it. Because it's you see this more often with this setup than with any other type of mixed race relations. But actually I'd apply the same logic to other examples. If you have a problem with any sort of mixed relationship, the problem is entirely yours. You know, it's it's your fault for being narrow minded. And you can cite all the examples you want of men who are uh, have a fetish. But I don't see what where there's a difference between that and, for example, white couples who are into bondage. I don't really see a difference. Um, and I think I speak for a lot of men who've been in this situation. Um, I think a lot of other white guys who've been in this situation have noticed this as well and they also feel resentful at being tarred with the same brush. Of course you'll find negative examples, but you will find negative examples, believe me, among Asian Asian couples and white white couples. So anyway, I'll leave it there because I'm just gonna be repeating myself here, but yeah, the bottom line is if you have a problem with it, it's one hundred percent your fault. I stand by everything I said in that video. And I just think it's a pity that so many people are so small-minded. Um, the video I made, I'm pleased to say, got very positive responses. There was a lot of people on there, male and female, um, white and Asian, um, thanking me, commending me for the things that I was saying. They could relate to it. Um, if you've had a bad experience, you, you have my sympathy. But... Only in so far as I'm sorry for what you went through. Um, if you start hating on all white guys, then I lose all sympathy. Then I think you're being narrow minded. Um, and that's all there is to it, really. Thanks for watching.